MCQ with one or more than one correct answer. Question. A man who can swim at a speed V relative to water wants to cross a river with D flowing with a speed U. The point opposite him across the river is P. The minimum time in which he can cross the river is D by V. He can reach the point P in time D by 2V. He can reach the point P in time D by under root V square minus U square D. He cannot reach the point P if U is greater than V. So first thing, let us analyze how the problem looks like. A man who can swim at a speed of V relative to water wants to cross the river with D flowing with the speed U. The point opposite him across the point is P. So if suppose this we take as a river and the person starts from here, the point exactly opposite to him will be point P. He starts from this particular point, say called point A. So the person must swim in this direction. This is the velocity of the man with respect to river. This is the velocity of river. This is the velocity of man with respect to ground. So velocity of river given to us here is U. Velocity of man who can swim with the speed is V. So this is V. So velocity of man with respect to ground will be is a right angle triangle. So V square minus U square under root. Correct. Let us look into the first point. The minimum time in which he can cross. The width of the river is given to us as D. So time taken will be D by the velocity along this direction. Correct. So what is the velocity along this direction? We can get it. Suppose we just take D divided by that velocity. So velocity of man with respect to ground is equal to the velocity in this direction. Velocity of man with respect to river plus velocity of river. Velocity of man with respect to river is equal to V cos theta j cap minus V sin theta i cap plus the velocity of the river is U i cap. So we can write velocity of man with respect to ground as U minus V sin theta i cap plus V cos theta j cap. That means if j cap the distance is d, that means d divided by v cos theta will be the time taken to cross the river. So let us see what is the time taken to cross the river. The time taken to cross the river. t is equal to d divided by the velocity along that direction that j cap v cos theta. Now this is the velocity. So when this is the velocity, we want to check the minimum time taken. Minimum time taken will be for the time to be minimum. In this figure, V cos theta should be maximum or cos theta must be maximum. And maximum value of cos theta is nothing but 1. So what is the time taken minimum? Minimum will be equal to D by V. So minimum time in which he can cross the river is D by V. First option is correct. He can reach the point P in time D by 2V. This is wrong. He can reach the point P in time D by under root B square by. That means he is going to reach the point P D by the velocity in this direction. That also we can substitute here. So the C part when you talk about. Time T can be also written as D by magnitude of velocity of man with respect to ground. And that is nothing but T by under root of V square minus U square. So in fact even option C is the correct option. He can reach the point P in time D by under root V square minus U square. This is also the right option. He cannot reach the point if U is greater than V. Now, in this particular problem, the time taken as you got it, this time must be equal to positive time. And this can be only possible when V must be greater than U. So, even option D is also correct. So, correct option for this problem will be A, C and D. A, C and D. 